Here we go again, you guys. Guess what? We are in Den, Texas. And Coman is about to do another battle with the Texas Tennis. Are you ready for this? You know it. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, he's getting the map. He's ready. Texas Tennis. Let me get a close look at this. The mouthpiece is getting ready to be in place. This is about to be so good. The Texas tennis. Y'all Shelly is in the house, man. And come on. They working together as a team. <laughs> These brothers getting ready for a showdown. Okay, y'all, we have my Martin man. Williams. Yes. I'm originally from Riverside, California. And in 2010, I got a scholarship to play for Weatherford College. My band director at the time was Cal Lewiston. Shout out to Cal. I got to change my life. And one guy that was local that he threw at me was Kumar Fowler. And I checked out YouTube, and at that time, Kumar was real early on YouTube, followed the channel, subscribed. He was giving free advice. And as soon as I got a chance to, play, uh, to go see him play, I actually pulled up to the Scat Jazz Lounge. And the funny story is I was too young to get in there. So I had to watch him from the door <laughs> and so I couldn't get in but since the uh, the guys knew I, I love music they let me stand at the door and, and, and listen to Kumon it was majestic at that time he had the locks and he was playing his tenor and it was it was just majestic so eventually I linked up took a few lessons with him but when I turned 21 I actually went on my 21st birthday to SCAT where wow. I saw Shelly Carroll all right and Shelly put me on the whole scene and told me where the jam spots were. It's good. And then I went to a few jam sessions, but Scat still to this day has an open jam session every Sunday. Yeah. And I ran into the drummer, Jalen Washington. All right. And Jalen Washington told me, you gotta hear the mayor. And I said, who's the mayor? The mayor of South Dallas, Jason David. And then from there, it's like the triangle. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've been here, I've been listening to Kwan and listening to Shelly, listening to Jason Davis, all three of them guys, true Texas tenors. But beyond that, they're awesome human beings. And I'm just grateful to still at least have them know my name. So That's thank good. all three of them for um, everything. That's good, man. And we, what can we find you at? You can find me on all platforms at B W I L L underscore G R V E. We've got some projects going on right now. Right. And of course, I'm just studying everything. That's so good. All right. That's good. Steve's wine boy for having a lot of 
This is the first time, this is one been on my mind for a decade. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm what you call a Texas terrorist. It's not something that I chose to be. Well, a little bit it is, but if someone had to tell me, Shelly, you know you're a Texas terrorist, don't you? And it's because I grew, around, grew up around a lot of prominent Texas terrorists, the great Arnett Cobb, Don Wilkinson. And I listened to and liked that music, but I ran from it for so long to try to sound like Michael Dell, Decker, and other people. And now that I've gotten older, and I have a couple of grandkids, I've come back to what uh, is really in my heart and where I came from, and that's that sound of the Texas tenor. So yeah. someone asked me, a guy was doing his doctorate on, on, on the Texas tenor, because it's not very more, much well known here in where we are, but around the world, it's not. Right. You go to France or Italy or everywhere, they know part of the Texas tenor. So uh, he was doing a, uh, his uh, dissertation on the Texas tenor, and he's like, what makes a Texas tenor? So it was a good question, but I know, first of all, you have to want to be a Texas tenor. Because, of course, there's many got people who play tennis. We have some female Texas tenor, Rachel Parks. And, uh, you know, so it's a good question, and we're still trying to define it. And so we're going to try to define that for you tonight. It's a real Texas tenor. So and we're going to start with one that the great Arnold Cobb did. Uh, entitled, When I Grow Too Old to Dream. Let me introduce the band, that's Fred Sanders on piano. <laughs> He's in the jazz department at Rutherford. Back there on bass, all around the world, all the time, Raymond Mason. <laughs> Back on the drums, one of the most solid, versatile drummers I know, one and only Brian Hunt. And my two friends here, oh, what can I say? Oh, oh Lord, I miss it. We're bonded, we're totally different. We all each play totally different, but there's connections. And one of the connections is we love tennis saxophone. Uh, second, we love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Third, Amen. we Texas tennis. Amen. Amen. Oh, 